Mars formed 4.6 billion years ago. For the first 400 million years, it had a magnetic field that protected its atmosphere and surface water from solar winds. It eventually lost this protection, though, and scientists aren't sure why. A 2009 study from the University of California, Berkeley, shows asteroid impacts could be responsible. Massive impacts heated Mars' mantle during this time, disrupting convection in the core. Without the core spinning, the magnetic field was lost. Without the protection, Mars' atmosphere was exposed to powerful solar winds from the sun. Measurements from NASA's MAVEN satellite show this stripped away carbon dioxide and oxygen. So, what about the water? Scientific consensus is that the water evaporated along with the atmosphere. But a new finding from Francois Costard at Paris's French National Center for Scientific Research calls this into question. The study analyzed many large impact craters on Mars to determine if any were underwater when the collision occurred. The study found that the Lomonosov crater, located in the Martian northern plains, fits the bill. Lomonosov is 75 miles wide with a broad and shallow rim. This shape suggests the impact occurred in a large, shallow ocean about 3 billion years ago. A large amount of water was still on Mars long after the magnetic field shut down. It also means that if there was life living near the impact, it would have been wiped out by a thousand foot high tsunami. And there's evidence for this massive wave. South of the crater, there are odd geological formations known as the thumbprint terrain. Curved patterns on the ground resemble a thumbprint. Scientists have concluded these thumbprints could have only been caused by an enormous tsunami hitting the shore before slowly washing back over the land. The proposed Martian tsunami traveled as far as 150 kilometers past the shoreline, blowing down valleys and over hills and plateaus. Because of the evidence of this tsunami, scientists have to go back to the drawing board when it comes to Mars's water. How did it remain on land so long after the magnetic field collapsed? And if it did survive the loss of the magnetic field, what else could have caused the water to vanish? A lesser known Oxford paper from 2017 may have the answer. They think basalt rocks on Mars's surface could have drawn water underground. People never tested the theory of water being absorbed as a result of simple rock reactions. Water didn't sink into the ground in early Earth because of its mantle chemistry. These two studies analyzed different pieces of Mars's past, but they both suggest one thing. The water probably did not disappear when the magnetic field shut off. So what does this mean? Water beneath the surface and potential evidence of past life could still be found on Mars. It also means that when hunting for life-sustaining planets, we must closely study the composition of planetary crust. So, do you think there's life on Mars? Leave a comment below and tell us what you think.